Hi, I'm so glad you joined me in going out. And before we go out, I want to go over some supplies with you that I use in setting up outdoors. And I don't want to do it out there because our light will be changing. So we're here in my studio. And uh, I'm glad that you signed up for, for this because this will probably be one of the most rewarding things you have done. If you haven't painted outdoors before, and if you have, you know how rewarding it can be. It can also be uh, very taxing. It's exhausting. You're hauling things around. You are fighting the elements. And you probably think, well, why in the world would I want to do all that? Why don't not just stay in my air-conditioned studio and, and paint from a picture? Well, it's hard to say in words, but you'll, you'll understand if you start doing this. You'll just, you'll get it. At first, I did not like painting outdoors, and this was back, I guess, about 25 or 30 years ago. Uh, I went with some people in the Southwestern Watercolor Society in Dallas, and we went, and I did terribly, and I hated it. Um, you're in the sun, you know, you're bitten by bugs, there's flies, wind, rain, everything, name it. You're out there in the middle of it with your watercolor. And I thought, well, this is stupid. Why in the world would people want to do this? Well, I joined the Outdoor Painters Society, a big group based in Texas, but it has members all over. And I started painting outdoors more regularly because I was kind of asked to ride with so-and-so. And, you know, I just went and did it. And I can't tell you what a difference it has made over the years. The nature's the best teacher there is and it teaches you to simplify um, it just teaches you to be fast you have to be fast because the light changes and you'll get faster and faster I was very slow at the beginning and you just you it just happens so anyway I can't say enough good things about it so I want to tell you first what I use and it's all in the supply list but then when I set it up I won't be able to go over it uh, I use a tripod, and on the tripod, this fits, and this is a holder. This folds up, so that's good, and this is called an upright holder, and I'll tell you about it on the supply list, and that tightens back there, and this, this tightens wherever you need it. It actually stretches out pretty big, but I would recommend not doing a big one outdoors. Uh, you won't have time. The light will change. So that's what you put your board on. Let's pretend like this is going to be my painting. And then I can tighten that on it. And on the back is something very essential. It's a quick release that fits on your tripod. So get a tripod that has a quick release. And you can just snap this onto the tripod. You don't have to fool with screwing anything in or, or anything. So this is great. Now for the bottom part, I have a shelf. And I used to have a shelf plus something that went with the shelf. My shelf's under my backpack here. But I lost the first part, so that's why I had to buy this upright holder. And I actually like the upright holder better. But what happens with this shelf here is just to hold things, and it fits on your tripod legs. It just slips on and then goes down as far as it can to where they start going out. And I put my palette on this, you know, I put some things on it. So it's just good to have a shelf. You don't have to have a shelf. Okay, so next, this is real essential. It's a, what I call a bug scarf. And you just put it around your your neck, like that, and tie it. And it's treated with bug stuff. And it lasts through a bunch of washings. So I don't know what i do without it. I love it. And then you might want to get an umbrella. Umbrellas are, they're tough. I don't know of anybody who's ever found the perfect umbrella. This one's okay, and I won't open it up, but it has black inside to prevent any colors from coming in and interrupting your painting. And then it comes with this little thing. The only problem is with my watercolor setup, this little thing, you can screw it real tight onto things, but it doesn't work as well as on my oil painting paint box. But this is a, it's the best one I've found. I've had them break about four times, but I've called the people at Gorilla Painters and they finally gave me the last one free. It was really cool. Now this is a gator board 
board. So this is the size painting I'll be doing outside. It's a half of a quarter sheet and this will fit just perfectly and I just tape it down. So I carry my masking tape with me. Hmm, I don't know where it went, but you know what that looks like. Here's a water container that's leak proof. That is essential. So um, they used to have them at the container store until they kind of changed that store up a little and you, you can get one online, I guess. This is a water holder. This folds up. So you just put your hand in it and expand it out. And I hang it onto my shelf with a just a hook. And I have lots of hooks like this hanging off my backpack. So I just hook it on there and it can't come off. And it's, it's wonderful. So I recommend that. It's a good, good product. Then we have... Um, paper towels. Don't forget your paper towels. And I use a little Clinique bag for my paints. And this is all the paints I take outdoors. I don't take my huge palette with everything on it. I just take what I have to take. And if I don't have it, I don't have it. So, but anyway, that's all. You don't want to add a lot of weight to what you're doing. Believe me, you don't. Mosquito bracelet. Love it magic eraser and this is my watercolor palette that I use most often I can get it open this one and it's a mess right now but uh, you know it's lightweight but it's got a lot of mixing area and I love it now let me show you some others there are a lot of others if I'm going somewhere really 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 uh, remote and I have to carry a lot of things uh, there's this little bitty Windsor Newton one that I have and I love it this top comes off as a it can be a water cup and then this can hold water this little bottle is kind of built in this is where you can put water to pour into there so that's pretty cool and then it has a cute little deal like that. That's a, uh, I want to call it art gum, kneaded eraser. I always do that. So I just stick it in there. And it's got its own little colors, which are enough. And you can use part of the water bottle as a mixing area. So you've got three mixing areas. And this is a darling little brush. So you take it out and, and then it makes its own handle. So you've got one brush with this. This is a, a cool little kit. I have used it. Uh, well, as you can see, it's I haven't cleaned it up. So that's one thing. Then the other thing, I don't, uh, I can't exactly find it right now, but it's another Windsor Newton, a little bit bigger one, and it flips out two sides to it, and then the paints are down the middle. And it's about twice that size but not as big as my other one now this is a good thing to paint on uh oh i've got some paintings on here it's it's little watercolor postcards but they're pretty good paper and so that's very light if you just want to pack that along and take it and then here's another one that i've never used and it's just a a palette and you can just squeeze your colors out and mix in the lid and it's very lightweight so that's good and then I always take a water container for when I take one of these little ones. Uh, I might want to take another water bottle. I've got a lot of them. And pour some more in. Now these are something a very dear friend of mine gave me. And I don't know if you can get this anymore, but these are three brushes. And they're actually really good brushes. So they all go out like that. There's a flat and a round and a filbert. But they're watercolor brushes. And I love them. So I take those when I just go somewhere and I don't want to take my, all of these, these weigh, <laughs> you know, and sometimes I'll take my smaller brush holder and, and don't take all those. Now there's one more thing I want to show you. Actually, there's one, there's not one more thing I want to show you. There's several more things. Another thing to have along is a visor or a hat or whatever you wear. Masking tape, I just found it. This is called, a, I call it a bug machine. And you do that and it the motor comes on 
it has two batteries in it and a little filter that has some kind of bug thing and it has a belt loop and I wouldn't be without it so I don't loop it on my belt anymore because I've lost several of these in rivers not that I'm in the river I'm up above the river but I bend over and it comes off and it goes down the hill and there it is in the river so I hook it onto my water container um, my little strap Okay, now this is a bag that, this is what I wanted to show you, actually. It has everything in it that you need, besides all this stuff. It has the viewfinder, which is a little plastic thing. So you, uh, it has little dimensions on it, and you can tell about what size your paper is and what size your scene should be and get it in the right proportion. And the main thing is to select your scene with this because you get out there and if you don't have something like this, you're looking at the whole world and you don't know what to do. <laughs> you just don't know what to put in a little painting. So this helps a lot. A friend of mine invented this and a spray bottle, a little one. And then these are extra mosquito bracelets. And of course your sketch pencil and our, this is a kneaded eraser in this bag so it doesn't get all dirty, but sketch pencil and eraser and a little bitty piece of magic eraser I carry in this little bag. If you are a Miskit user, good luck uh, using it. But anyway, I carry soap and a remover in this little bag. So I, I love this bag and, yeah, well, and also um, Benadryl if I get bitten really badly, which I have. And this is Camphophonique, which the bugs don't like it much. So I put it on my temples up here where flies we have deer flies in Colorado and they they're horrible they bite so I put that on every time I start painting so I'm all bugged up everywhere I can't think of anything else to tell you except take your enthusiasm with you um, you might need it and your your ability to paint fast will get better believe me it will and you're gonna have fun out there so why don't I pack all this stuff up and let's go out.